do 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 all right don't mind the way we look what are you laughing at Um, Miss me times a hundred. Yes, this is our recap. We look like crap because we actually did, um, make a cake, uh, for the past four, four days. Um, so, yeah, a lot of work went into that cake. Got a lot of retweets on Twitter, which is wonderful. Um... A lot of new followers on Twitter. Yes. A couple people liked it that uh, are part of the show. Andy oh, Reeser. Ty, uh, Tyler Blackburn. Tyler Blackburn. Said it was adorbs. And then followed us. Totes adorbs. Um, so, yeah. A lot of uh, things that we wanted to happen with the cake happened with the cake. So, hope you liked it. That's wonderful. Happy. Happy about it. Okay. So, let's get into the episode. Okay, so we see the episode starts out. <laughs> um, we're going to keep doing that throughout the thing because our Twitter is going crazy. I'm like... <laughs> um, so, yeah. We... It starts out with, what the hell's her name? Hannah. Talking to, what was it, Travis? Travis, yeah. She's worried that the girls are going to be like Allie's puppets again. So, um, no surprise there. <laughs> no surprise there, but, um. No surprise there. Then we have, uh, Aria's talking to Ezra. They're walking down the street. She's talking about having nightmares about Shauna and all this crap and, Blah, blah, blah. Who gives a fuck? Um, just kiss him already. Kiss him. Um, then they stumble upon Allison talking mm -hmm. to somebody. Alright, talk about it. They stumble upon Allison talking to somebody outside of, what was it, De Laurentiis Real Estate. And she said that somebody was dropping her off to drop off something for her father. I can't remember exactly what she said. Let me see this paper. She said she had to pick up the papers to for school to go back to school. Okay, yeah. Then, as they're standing there, a bus pulls up. We expected it to be Caleb's ass jumping off, but no. It was Jenna. Blind Jenna. Who somehow was able to see them standing across the street. Yeah. Because it certainly looked like it. Then we come upon Toby and Spencer having a conversation. He's rereading Fitzgerald. Yeah, rereading. Rereading, rereading. Everybody's been saying he's rereading it. He's fucking rereading it. What? He already read it. He's going to read it again. And then he's he's not read only it reading again. it, but he's rereading it. Yeah. And he gets a phone call while sitting there, and it's from Jenna. And she's all. <laughs> about Shauna good riddance you fucking bitch and peace the fuck out Toby happens to mention that he hasn't spoken to her since She's she moved New to York. New York since she moved to New York since she moved to hey sorry there's a cat fight going on here and it's not Allie and Mona yes anyway so anyway, we Backers. find out that Jenna lived in fucking New York. That's where Jenna's been. Wanna She's get been the in video. New York. Oops, sorry, I wasn't in the video. Okay. So, um... What the hell is that word after they? How they are? They are afraid of Jenna. Yes, all the girls get, come together and they're all talking about how, you know, Jenna's back with a vengeance. Die Hard 5 in this bitch. <laughs> um, she's back. She knows everything, Jay. Um, so now they're talking about Jenna about her wanting revenge for the whole 
Jenna incident, the whole Shauna thing. Now she's going to want revenge for. She knows it's a murder and not, you know what I mean? She believes it's a murder. So she's going to be looking for and whoever did it. she believes correctly so, <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. So Allie says to the girls, like, you know, oh, these are not my cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch so Allie says to the girls, like, you know, this is not your battle to fight. I'll make sure I make amends with everybody. Therefore, we don't have anything to worry about. Do, do, do. <laughs> um, yeah, I got an obligation to I don't know what it is. Yes. Anyway. But, um. Oh, yeah, so. Then. That. Okay. Then we see, um. She goes up going to back Cindy to and Mindy. Yeah, they're, they're back at school. Allison goes up to the twins. Hug, hug, hug. You know, love you. Um, don't know who the hell you are, but yeah, sure. Here we go. Um, Apparently, they were playing weird music. They was- were. For to, That was the weirdest music ever to play while she goes back to school. I was seriously expecting, like, her return. Even though it's supposed to be, like, a good return, I was still expecting something like... I get knocked down. Yeah, but I get up again. <laughs> you never gonna keep me down. Not whatever the hell they were playing. I don't even remember what it was, but it was just weird. I was looking at it. I was like, are we watching the right show? Like, it was just weird. Um, All of a sudden, over the loudspeaker, Spencer Hastings' name is blasted. Spencer Hastings' name was blasted. Her mom is there. We see her mother. Spencer, I'm sorry to do this to you, but we've got to go now. Because uh, I am divorcing your father and peace the fuck out. What is all over my hands? Is this I the have pen? No idea. Yes, it probably is. But so anyway, you know, she's divorcing her father. Great fucking about goddamn time that Veronica Hastings has a little ounce of Well, well considering well, he shoves dignity, his fucking dingling anything. and everything with a yeah. fuck anything that walks. Like she should have divorced him after this whole after he got Mrs. De Laurentiis pregnant. Okay? That should have been the end of that. No shit. Um, so, the mom's in a hurry to leave. Great, whatever. She wants to go before the dad gets home. Yes. Then we see Lucas, badass Brendan Robinson, tearing yes. up the screen. Gotta be quiet so I can get in the zone. That's what he says, right? Um, but... I don't know. I don't know. Um, so... He's he, looking damn good. He is. He definitely is. He's, he is looking damn good. He is definitely looking great. Hermie got himself a good look. Yes. <laughs> I'll take me some Hermie any day. He's got a girlfriend, and we have our opinion on who the fuck that is. Um. So then, Lucas is inviting her to this party. Great. My girlfriend's going to be there. Whoa. Her, her being Hannah. Whoa. Lucas has got a girlfriend. Whoa. We have our opinions on who this girlfriend might be. It's either Mona or that other chick. What the hell's her name? Sydney. 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 Whatever. Seriously, what we'll get to that in a minute. Um, so we go to find out uh that uh, Spencer's mom has hired a private investigator to follow around, whatever, to s- investigate what actually happened that night because Mr. Hastings and Melissa both said that they were at a diner, which, in fact, they really were not. Um, which makes me believe... Which makes me believe that... Uh, no one's looking at you. We were looking at the, the phone. Our Twitter's going on. Which makes me believe that He's not going to really be... I mean, I, he, I guess he could go back and check to see if they were at the diner. But it makes me believe that she hired that private investigator before all of this. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? For him to be able to follow them and see if they were at the diner. Do you know what I mean? Something's up with that. So, um, they have to leave. Again, Spencer asks for answers and... Uh, Come on, Mom, just be honest with me. And she goes to be honest with her and then doesn't say anything. What else is new? It's PLO. Um, then we see oh, Aria, yeah. <laughs> Aria going to see Jenna. She walks into the house and Jenna's sitting there and, you know, I guess, whatever. She 
didn't realize that Jenna was still fucking blind. Because when Jenna said to her, Who's there? Who's there? She, like, hightailed it out of there like there was a fucking fire under her ass. Yeah. And Jenna was sitting there crying, presumably about Shauna, but who the hell knows. I really, I felt bad for her at that part. I I did, too. Not that bad, though. Paige got blonde highlights. Yeah, Paige has blonde hair now at the bottom. It's all blonde at the bottom. That looks just like Allison's hair. Like, what the hell? What the hell? Yes. Which makes me believe that it was Shauna. I mean, that, that it was Paige that met Mona in the hair salon that day. Because she comes back and boom! Boom! Got hair going. What? It very well could have been. Then so. her and Emily and Allison have the love triangle going on. Yeah, they're or, all in a room. It's like a the Vietnam War in there. Like, I don't even know what the hell to think. This person's know. mad at this person. I don't, I don't fucking know. But her and Allie are crying, and she's saying what a bitch Allie was, and how she hurt so many people, and she wasn't a good person. And Allie, supposedly, you know, is trying to change according to what she said, so. Mm -hmm. I don't understand what you have there. Jenna, sad face. Oh, Emily is trying to ditch Allison. Oh, that's ditch. Ditch, yes. Okay. Not butch. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so she's like, oh, you know, I come, she's talking about going to the party at the, the you know, the school or whatever. And she's like, can I come? And she's like, no, I invited Paige. Would you fucking stop looking at that? Who gives a shit? Well, maybe we can mention it. 19 new notifications, really? 19? For reals? Talk to them about the next one. But she ditches her. Allison had feelings for... Oh, okay. I guess you meant about how she said that the kissing that they had done wasn't just for practice? Is that what you mean by that? Because you cut it off. You're like Allison had feelings for. Her. Wait, what? How she was saying that the kissing wasn't just yeah, practice? that the kissing wasn't just practice. So Allison is saying that she did have feelings for her. Now, do we know that that's true? Because everything that comes out of Allison's mouth is a fucking lie. Uh, okay, so then we go to the cafe. Wonderful, great. Hannah's getting coffee, and boom, turns around. There's Caleb. Like, really? Looking fucking damn good. Really? Like, Caleb looking good. Like, better than he's ever looked. I don't care what anybody says. Everyone's like, oh, bring the long hair back. And no. A no. He looked good tonight. Yes, he did. Really, really good. But seriously, though, like, how do you come to town? Like, how do you come back to town and not tell Hannah? I don't care if your Ravenswood show got canceled or not. That is not okay. That is not okay. And Hannah was like, like, really? You're back? And, like, you wouldn't say, like, why would you not call me? Like, you know what I mean? Like, why would you not? Like, they they didn't leave things in a bad way. That's what is, like, confusing to me. You know what I mean? I know. And I don't know what the hell happened on Ravenswood because I didn't watch it. So, I don't know if, like, he's going through some kind of, like, meltdown or what or what the hell's going on in his life. But he is not very nice. He turned around and he threw a Back to the Future uh, line in there. Hey, Biff, why don't you take it outside? Like, (laughs) he was just like... (laughs) He totally did, too. Yeah, he he was not having it. So he was just miserable as cat shit. So he was. But poor little Hannah. Next thing you know, we see Hannah standing there on her phone, drunk dialing Caleb, completely drunk off her ass. Drops her phone on the ground. Lucas to the rescue! He picks up the phone. Apparently his girlfriend <clears throat> that he's been hee <laughs> hee Yeah. Boinking. Didn't show. Porking hmm. for Wonder this show. Why. Porking. Wonder why. Let's really quick come back. 